The president of the Islamic Ladies Social and Cultural Association, Shaliza Khan Ali, says her members are disturbed that the government failed to include exceptions in the miscellaneous provisions marriage bill. The bill was passed in the Senate on Tuesday night. Mrs. Khan Ali says all the major Islamic groups had agreed that there should be exceptions in the bill for child marriages. Charlene Lewis has more. The head of the Islamic Ladies Group, Mrs. Khan Ali, speaking to CNews via telephone, said... Though the committee requested to meet with the Attorney General since June 2016, they only met with the AG's office on January 12th this year. We are very disturbed that the government of Trinidad and Tobago did not include any exceptions in this bill. The need for these exceptions were very clearly elucidated by the independent Senator Danishwa Mahabir and some of the opposition senators. I have to say that in no circumstances does any Muslim rush to marry their children as teenagers. But sometimes some circumstances may arise, and that is shown that there were 103 such marriages. Mrs. Khan Ali said over a 10-year period there were 103 marriages on the 18, but they were done in only certain circumstances, and there were no 12 or 13 year olds being married. Noting government's concern about the health risk associated with child marriages, she is asking what's going to happen to the 15,000 plus teenagers who were pregnant over the last decade. These health risks that they have said, uh, including serious health risks, such as sexually transmitted infections, increasing HIV, premature pregnancy, what he has not told us, out of the 15,231 pregnancies between 2008 and 2015, how is he protecting those 15,231 children against these exactly same health risks? Mrs. Khan Ali said the position paper presented since last June represents the views of major Muslim organizations such as Darlum, TML, IRS, IDM and Ashja. Charlene Lewis, C News.